Well, here we are again, guys, for another try. So I've repaired the wing and changed where the servos uh, are for the wing. It's now got a central servo with torque tubes in. Seems to have a bit better movement on it, so uh, we'll give it another try. See how it goes. <laughs> Will it fly? Take two. Fingers crossed. I'm, I'm not going to give it two yeah. full whack, just in case it... Yeah. Go on. Ooh. It flies. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Just... Can you see your line? <laughs> yeah. Do you, are you going to take, uh, take it? Yeah. Fire it up, guy. Well, it did fly. <laughs> so here I go, guys, on the walk of shame. And I was expecting to find not much of it left but I was absolutely amazed when I got there it was still in one piece and didn't seem to have any damage so I think the crops had something to do with it yeah. you ready? Yeah. no not that time that's just wanted to go that's that what it did before yeah. yeah yeah bugger again what I'd actually done before this second flight I'd added a little bit of nose weight to it and uh, I'd stuck it onto one side of the fuselage um, up inside the battery bay and I think that's why it, it twisted over but as you can see it's it's quite damaged now uh, I've brought it back home and I may try and do something with it in the future but I think I think it's time to put this one to bed for a little while so it was a shame to see it end like this but you know as the saying goes on my website build fly and sometimes crash and we crashed this time and the Wright brothers didn't get it right first time did they so I've been thinking about what's going to be my next EDF project and this is probably going to be next year now because I've got some other projects I want to clear off first and I've been looking into this um, quite a bit and uh, it's a Sanders Row SR177 rocket fighter and it was something that was designed back in the 50s I think and it, the idea was that it had a rocket engine and a, a turbine engine as well. And it was to get up to intercept the uh, Russians very quickly. They did make a smaller prototype of this and uh, it flew really well where they tested out the engines. And But it got killed off by uh, governments as a lot of good projects do. So I've got a couple of EDFs spare now so I'm thinking I might do this one I won't be able to put a rocket engine in it so but it, uh, I think it's it just sort of caught my eye and I, I think this would be quite interesting to build so uh, let me know what you think in the comments guys so it's probably going to be next year sometime before I get around to doing this and I'll probably do another tutorial on uh, DevFuzz foam and using it using the new foam cutter that I'm developing at the moment to use 3d printing uh, technology so thanks for watching guys and catch you later <laughs>